Are you ready? Yep. Say yes. Two. Yeah, I'm ready. Two. All right. And his wee wee was hard as a rock. Time's yours. Yep. It was a tough week. You know, thought I had some guys in the right positions and, uh, you know, just turned out that, um, you know, Gruden decided that once he got down inside the red zone, um, instead of giving the, the ball to his beast, uh, Josh Jacobs, he decided to bring in some guy named Jalen Richard. Um, didn't even know French guys played football. Uh, but they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Thanks, Coach. But I blame John Gruden. So uh, we'll group after this week. Um, made a really nice trade. Uh, got a uh, QB2 in. And I uh, believe that, you know, he can uh, pick up the slack for that giant heaping piece of turd crap that uh, was Kirk. Kirk Cousins? You like that? You like that? And uh, we'll move on to the next week. Uh, right now I'm, I'm on to Charles. What's that? I'm on to Charles. Yeah, you know, um, I'd rather really just move on to Charles. Yeah, should be an easy win. Should be an easy win, but... Um, Moving on to Charles. Okay? Any questions? No? Bad guy. What have you done? Charles. We can't find him anywhere. You put a whooping on Charles. Again. For the second week in a row. Bad guy. Where is he? Wait. What? Am I reading that right? Justin, are you actually a mixin' that's successful at something? I mean, it seems like you won again. That's two in a row. Let me see. Yeah, oh my god, finally a mixin'. Everybody, stop the presses. A mix-in has won two games in a row and went to number one on this week's power ranking. Ah! Hey, anybody notice that the two nicest guys in the league played each other this past weekend? Hank wasn't so nice to Rob this time, though, as Rob drops to 0-2 for the second year in a row in his second season in your mom. How's that Gronk pick working out for you, Rob? I think uh, Marcus said it best when he said it was a stretch or good luck with that or any of the other Marcusisms that he decides to do. Gronk? Yeah, good luck with that. We're going to give you an yeah. X. I Circle that, that though. Circle that. Yeah, all right. Circle that one. <laughs> Hank used you like he hit a walk-off home run and slammed the bat down and got kicked out of a game. On another note, I did find a recording of Hank and Ben, his coach uh setting their life hey guys good to see you put down the knife for no nope. you know what here oh all right great push what the button this? boom no now we're having a conversation what do i need a knife to run a team just settle lineup disputes yeah we do that with our words no words are bullshit they're just useless sounds that we make with our stupid mouths okay this is how stuff gets done here. just hanging out here with my uh future bride after she gets divorced from Hank the Tank, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was really proud of Jeff this weekend. His team that he didn't even draft actually pulled out 192 points, which is a high, high, high points. Him and Barry must have been together again. It was so high, but it was nice to see him get rid of that jizz on his face from last week. But I think the biggest surprise in that game was Nzs and Sorry just cannot catch a break. 
He's got no roster, no no good players, trying to make trades. Nobody wants to deal with them. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do, buddy. And finally, to close out week two, Aaron played a game. He won a game. He beat Barry. Blah, 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 blah. Suck it! Oh.